Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a CPU cooler, the Dark Rock Pro 4 by Be Quiet. Let's get started. If you're not familiar with CPU coolers and all you see here is a chunk of metal with a couple fans, you'd be pretty much correct. To get a little more technical, it's a heavily engineered piece of metal with two fans on it designed to draw the heat from the CPU and dissipate it. And with a Dark Rock Pro 4, it is designed to dissipate heat off your CPU to keep your CPU running cold and efficient. It's also designed to be quiet so you don't hear it. Now recently I built a new computer and tried to get away with using the stock AMD cooler that was included with the Ryzen 7 3700X. And after testing it out I realized that the cooler is actually pretty loud and it wasn't cooling my computer like I needed it to. It left no room for me to overclock. So I did a lot of research and ended up really interested in the Dark Rock Pro 4. I reached out to be quiet and they offered to provide one to review. And on paper, this seems like the perfect package. It runs quiet, it keeps your computer cool, and lets you overclock your system if you want to. When the box arrived, I took one look at it and couldn't believe my eyes. The size of this thing is huge. I thought there was no way that this is actually going to be quiet considering how big this thing is. Now opening the box here and taking a look at it, you'll know pretty quickly exactly what I'm talking about. The foam is doing an excellent job hiding the sheer size of this thing, so let's take a look at it outside of the box. The box contains a ton of things in it. Now first and foremost, looking at this, I was kind of taken back looking at the instruction manuals. I was wondering how on earth there was so much instruction, so many instructions for one CPU cooler, and then I quickly realized there's pretty much one separate one for each different language. Inside the box, there's also a couple bags with some parts in it. There's some universal parts and there's some specific parts. For example, these are fan clips here. There's also separate bags on the inside, one for AMD and one for Intel. Now, since I am using an AMD processor, I have no need for the Intel bag. But just bear in mind as well, remove the Intel bag because there's some extra stuff in here. One thing I do like seeing is the thermal paste, so you don't have to provide your own. Now, there's not really a lot of thermal paste. There is enough for exactly one application. So if you screw it up, you will need to provide your own thermal paste because this really isn't enough for more than one try. Now let's take a look at the behemoth of the CPU cooler. I'm not joking around when I say this thing is huge. So just taking off a little bit of foam here, there's a fan that fits in between, there's a fan that fits on the outside, and this whole entire thing sits on top of your CPU. It is huge and it is heavy. And although this thing is absolutely huge, I love the looks of it. When I turn it up, you will see the top, and that's the way it looks when it's mounted on the CPU. You see the Be Quiet logo and a brush metal look. It's very sleek looking. One of my favorite little touches that Be Quiet did was include a screwdriver. So this is actually a really nice screwdriver as well. It's nice and long, which makes life a lot easier when you are using it inside the computer. It is a Phillips head, so it's either a cross or a T, depending on how you want to look at it. It's also also magnetized and it's got the Be Quiet logo on it. So here's my motherboard with a stock cooler on it. The motherboard is an Asus ROG Crosshair 8 Hero with Wi-Fi. The CPU cooler is the stock AMD Wraith Prism that they include with the Ryzen 7 3700X. And here's the same motherboard with the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 mounted. You can see how much more room this new CPU cooler takes. This is the stock Wraith Prism, and this is the Dark Rock Pro 4. So not only is the Dark Rock Pro 4 taller, it's also wider in pretty much every way. Now, if you are considering this, one thing I would definitely recommend just by looking at it here, you may run into space issues if you have a small case. So if you have a very narrow or small case, this Dark Rock Pro 4 might not fit. You will have to measure. I was initially concerned whether or not my RAM would actually fit with this cooler installed. Now, looking at this, there is a ton of clearance, so I'm not overly concerned at all. But if you have different RAM, if you have tall RAM or a different motherboard, you may run into issues. So you might want to double check that. The RAM that I have for reference is G-Skill Rip Jaws 5. This also worked just fine with Corsair Vengeance LPX. Something else to consider, since this Dark Rock Pro 4 covers my RAM, if I was using RGB RAM, it might kind of block that a little bit. You might not be able to see it as good through the case. So if you have RGB RAM, keep that in mind. If you haven't bought RAM yet, you might not need to buy RGB RAM. So here's how it looks inside the case mounted. I actually really like this look. 
One thing to consider is your GPU. So that's something else I was slightly worried about, but I have more than enough clearance here. It's not interfering in any way. And for reference, it's an MSI 2060 Super. Now let's have a listen to hear the difference between the stock cooler and the Dark Rock Pro 4. Now since the Dark Rock Pro 4 is a CPU cooler, let's put it through its paces and see how well it cools. I will compare it directly with the stock cooler from AMD and I'm going to use Prime 95 to stress the CPU. So here are the results. The top test is the stock Wraith cooler. The bottom test is the Dark Rock Pro 4. The big difference between the two tests, the first test I ran for 10 minutes, the bottom test I ran for 15. So if you're wondering why I ran one test at 10 minutes and one at 15 minutes, well, if you take a look at the top test, I already hit 80 degrees. So it actually started thermal throttling because it reached its maximum temperature. It went over it by three degrees. It went to 83 degrees. And it's not good to have your CPU running that hot for a long period of time. And if we look at the Dark Rock Pro 4 running after 15 minutes, the CPU was sitting at 59 degrees, a much better temperature. So in conclusion on this test, the Dark Rock Pro 4 worked considerably better. The Dark Rock Pro 4 is listed at 90 bucks on Amazon. So is it worth it at that price? I would say absolutely yes. If you are looking at keeping your computer quiet, keeping your computer cool, and you do plan on doing some stressful things like maybe overclocking or running some stressful games. And in terms of stressful games, I just mean games at very high resolutions that require a lot of power, a lot of processing power to get them to run. Now, without a word of a lie, the Dark Rock Pro 4 exceeded my expectations by leaps and bounds. I was actually not expecting it to be this good and to be this quiet. When I saw the CPU cooler, it had two fans on it. I was a little hesitant. I thought, well, two fans, it might actually be pretty loud. And it's not. It's very, very quiet. Now, I was so impressed with this cooler that I decided to give another cooler a try from Be Quiet from my wife's computer. And that's the Pure Rock. Now, this is a slightly smaller CPU cooler compared to the Dark Rock Pro 4. So this one's listed on Amazon for about half the price of the Dark Rock Pro 4. This one will set you back about 41 bucks. Now, this I would say I would definitely recommend if you are looking for something maybe a little less expensive, but you still want it to cool effectively and also be quiet, much quieter than the stock cooler. And I can safely say that this is a great cooler as well. Now my wife, she doesn't do any gaming or anything like that. She's not overclocking, but at the same time, she does stress the CPU out from time to time when she does video editing. She does a lot of video editing and rendering, which puts a lot of stress on the CPU. And if you wanna check out what she's doing, she's over at The Average Tourist, and sometimes I make some cameos in her video, so definitely check her out. But anyways, back on topic, the Pure Rock has actually done a very good job keeping her CPU cool and quiet. At the end of the day, would I recommend the Dark Rock Pro 4? Heck yes, this is a great CPU cooler. I'm really, really impressed with it. Although I would recommend if you are considering it, just be conscious of the size. If you have a very small PC, if you're doing a slim build, you might need to change up the product. Be Quiet also has other products available and I would recommend them. I own the Pure Rock, I own the Dark Rock Pro 4, and I'm very happy with both. But anyways, that's all I've got for today. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.